In this meeting, attended by Acholi cultural and political leaders and lands ministry officials, a consensus was reached on the giveaway of 10,000 hectares of land in Amuru district in northern Uganda to the Madivani group. Government shall ensure that the community through a framework that they will come up with acquire shares in Amoro Sugar Works Limited. In the agreement, government will take majority of the shares, some of which will be allocated to the affected communities in Amoro sub-county. However, two days later, there are members of parliament who are against this deal, arguing that it was not cut under the right procedures. We have been crying and telling them that this is a very poor approach. Right now, we are in a modern era. You come to the people, come up with clear terms and conditions. Let us sign the agreement and we give you the land. Aru County MP Odonga Oto says that as leaders and the representatives of the people from the contested area, they will resist any move aimed at alienating the rightful owners from being part of the process. By the stretch of any imagination, Marivani will not get even a quarter an acre of land in Acholi without consulting the community. Actually, we will even check his pocket. He will not even carry sand in his pocket when he's on a, on a field visit to come back with to Kampala. So it is the biggest dream unless he consults the local people. They blame the cultural leaders who attended the meeting for betraying the population. The cultural leaders in Acholi, they have no mandate of giving an individual land to the investor. In Acholi, we have 50, 52 cultural leaders. Each and every clan has its own cultural leader. Therefore, if an individual has got his property, you as a cultural leader, you have no right of giving that individual's property to any investor. Professor Pen Mogi Nyeko, who mediated Monday's meeting, is also on the receiving end of the MP's anger, and they say he should concentrate on his work at Gulu University. What is the role of Professor Nyeko Pen Mogi, who is the Vice Chancellor? Not even any leader from Amuru district. What is his role to carry those plant chiefs, bring them to the office of the, of the minister, and they sign the document? Any politician who opposes development in his constituency or her constituency is not suitable to be a leader. It now remains to be seen whether the registration of the deed settlement supposed to take effect two weeks from now will be implemented as the MPs insist that all parties in Amuru have the final say on the matter. The fight for Madvani Group to establish a sugar project here has lasted for years.